you have lived as invisibly as possible. Flicking from solar system to solar system, making grand plans, overseeing the culturing of civilizations before you leave in a blank. But you have no recollection of ever wanting worship or even thanks from those blessed by you. But memory's heavy now. It feels like lead and neutronium and electroweak matter fashioned into a moon-sized ball that you must carry as you move. Now, your flight is rapid, your vast mind infected with such dread and toxic doubt that you find yourself afraid of the simple act of thought. And it is your children you must turn to now, in time of need. This has been such a long chase. This will be the place you will fight. Fight and win. But do you really know why you go where you go, and where this journey is taking you? The chase leads you where you need to be, you believe, unless you are being pushed. The knife had a million blades, and you were giant, powerful, and swift, but the knife pinned you, cut your godly flesh away. Very little was left. You are sure, because you feel insignificant now. The hard, slick heart of your soul, that is what remains. A body small as a river stone, and just as simple. You picture yourself as a piece of indigestible grit, a nameless nothing hiding among other nameless stones. Perhaps you glitter like a gem. Yes, pride makes you hope so. If only you could see yourself. But you have no eyes. Not the dimmest sense survives. What lives is memory. And what slim portion of these thoughts can you trust? The knife stole much more than your body.